Hello everybody, my name's Dr. Eva and welcome to a new Let's Play, this time once again back to Civilization V, A Brave New World. And I'm playing Portugal again. Um, it's been a while since I've played as Portugal and we lost terribly bad to Poland in that game. Um, you can still find it somewhere on the channel. And I want to try it again, still on Immortal, so this is going to be a much better Portugal game, hopefully. It's once again a Terra map, because I like Terra maps quite a lot in this game, and they turn out pretty good, usually. I mean, it makes it look great. Anyway, blessings be upon you, most gracious Queen Maria, protector and sovereign of the Portuguese people. As the first ever Queen Regnant of Portugal, it was your wise stewardship that protected the royal court from the incursions of Napoleon, establishing a safe haven in Brazil to preserve the integrity of Portuguese rule. Despite struggling with illness throughout your reign, your efforts to ensure Portugal's close cooperation with Brazil are credited with helping that state gain its eventual independence. And for this you will be always be admired and respected by the people of both nations. O noble and pious queen, will you once again guide the kingdom of Portugal in the spirit of cooperation and prosperity? Will you establish a new legacy, one that will surpass all those who came before you? Can you build a civilization that will stand the test of time? Resource diversity grants twice as much gold for Portugal and trade rights, so we have to set up for trading quite early on because it will give us even more money and the more gold you have the better and bigger the lead as you can get and we also have the Fatoria, which is a special improvement which can only be built in a city-state land and it will give you a copy of their resource and it also counts as a fort so if they have any um, luxury resources that they have they will give you a copy for free you don't have to be allies or anything and then there's the now, which is the Portuguese Special Naval Unit, which uh, you can send overseas and they will basically have some kind of treasure ability and they will get a lot of golden experience for that. Anyway, let's begin our journey. And this is a... I love this starting location. I will send out my warrior to scout a little bit further. There's nothing more here. But we have silver, which makes me want to get some mining up soon. We have sheep, so animal husbandry powerful. Uh, some fish, uh, of course, stone is just a really good one in the beginning. Um, I hope, of course, they will work that tile. And I will set the production focus because that way when the turn... When they, you get a new person, that's when... When it, going over a turn, they will always... Uh, the game calculates food first and then production. So when you grow... The new production from the tile that that new person works on is also considered, and so you get a little bit of bonus production. It's minor, but it's something. Anyway, um, despite being in such a good location for mining, I will go pottery first, because pottery is just that good. And, yeah, even though this is a terra map, I really like going with a scout first, always. It just... Gets those uh, get you quicker to the ruins in the beginning, and those can seriously propel you. Uh, oh god! Well, we get a very very close by city state, which means we have a very early on uh, trading target at the very least. Zanzibar. They will have pearls. They will definitely have pearls. They get pearls. I'm not expecting anything to be here, so I'm just not gonna go there anyway. Eu sou Pedro, imperador do Brasil. Tenho pouco tempo para agracejos. O que eu traz aqui? That's close. Like, really close. Brazil is like this close to me? Holy crap, that's insane. Hmm. This might prove to be a much more difficult start than I imagined. Especially if there's like nothing up here. Well, there seems to be something. Uh, monument next. Hmm. It's a really close Brazil. 
Of course, they've been scouting this way already, so that means there are no more ruins up here either. <sighs> they have gold, they got stone, they got sugar. Oh, the city has grown. Oh, more good stuff back here. Oh, India, you're also in the game. You're here with a scout. Oh, good. More locations where it probably won't Shall find the anything. Clay say to him that fashioneth it. And that's a barbarian encampment. Oh, look! That's actually uncanny that we find one of those. Um, one turn left. Uh, let's get mining. So if I were to move you over here, they would still grow. That's just for one turn, though, probably. Actually, might as well get a granary up next. Or no, 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 a shrine. I'm gonna need a shrine. Oh, hello, another city-state there. Oh, advanced weapons. That's probably not gonna be that useful, but okay. Um, I'm gonna give you the fish then. Close down the shrine, but at least we'll keep growing. Melbourne, first one to meet them. Also a uh, trading city-state, which is a plus, of course. Oh man, I hope Brazil doesn't go like expand in my direction, because that would just screw things over so badly. I mean, if I have nowhere to go, I will have to go on the offensive against them. Ne, chief Pocatello. Oh, hello, Pocatello. Um, actually, I need to go into the options. Um, interface, single player score lists. Yay, we're definitely lowest of everyone. What a surprise. Deveremos prosperar através do comércio. No, thank you. Oh, good. First Pantheon founded oral traditions. Well, it doesn't give them more faith, which does mean they don't have that fast and they won't go very fast on, uh, uh, let's take out the Barbarian there for them. So we get a bonus relationship with them for a second. Also, yes, um, we are driven a little bit into a corner here, obviously. So would tradition be the best or not? I really am. I really love playing Liberty, but... I already did get my... Mm, you know what? I'm... Still gonna go Liberty. Even against better judgment, I just like Liberty that much. So we'll get as a worker in a couple of turns as well. Go here. We'll be able to trade with Melbourne at some point as well. And we have mining. And we just need an actual uh, worker. Four turns. Um, yeah, let's get another warrior out there. And you have mining. I need animal husbandry as well to upgrade the sheep. And I need masonry. And I need calendar. I need everything. You know, it's that's always true. Well, there is room to expand no, 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 towards the north-ish. Gold per turn. No, thank you. Okay, India is already over here, so Brazil will be stuck between us. And there's Siam. Hopefully they don't get one of... Um, Germany! Also Coco, one of the new resources uh, added in the lace. Jesus, they're here? Oh god, I'm really surrounded by people now, aren't I? That's bad. Sometimes when you start a game, the map gen is just so generous with giving you locations without many people around you. This time I'm really surrounded by uh, people. Okay, actually, I should do it, really. It gives me some good early gold. Let's call all of them. Uh, sure, we'll just get all the gold from them. 
Uh, accept embassy, what will you give me? Sure thing. It does mean that they all have writing already. I mean, we're a trading nation, we should focus on getting lots of money. They don't have writing yet. What's the difference? Uh, there we go. Suddenly we're at 6 per turn. Just by doing that. Um, I would like to settle at least here. Close to the uh, sugar. Also, I yeah, through that. Time for our worker to come out and play. And you have... I'll wait for a turn because I want to get the sheep hooked up first. So that's why I want to stay there for the sheep. Anyway, um, yes, pasture. Uh, let's see. Settler or a granary first. If we build a granary first, settler will be sped up enormously. I think, um, hmm. I'm gonna get a settler. I'm gonna switch some around so we have just slightly more production on it as well. Actually, I'm gonna set you there. Uh, choose research. Let's get archery. I'm gonna need archers. Uh, there's one advantage though, we won't be bothered by too many barbarians here because there are so many AIs around us. They will all be um, killed by them, really. Let's alert the warrior here. Melbourne under attack. We have the biggest production of everyone. That's actually very surprising. Huh. Yeah, like, well, it's also because I'm working on a settler, of course. <laughs> Pantheon founded. We are... Yeah, we need 20, so that will be a while. Hang on a minute. Is this seriously... Am I looking at an actual in the lake so now? Let's turn up some of these other sounds, actually. They're a bit very low. I'm not going to put up the music volume, but... Something like that. The haft of the arrow had been feathered with one of the eagle's own... Yes, archery. Um, really, there is some more to be seen. We see every tile except Berlin itself. Of course we do. Um, sailing would get us uh, cargo ships, and we're gonna need those, definitely. But I think calendar or masonry for the uh, stone or the cotton is better, and I'm gonna pick up calendar then. And just because it's one turn, sh turn shorter, but also because um, we only have one stone situation here and nothing else. I'm actually interested in s scouting around there. Oh, goody. More production. You'll follow. And I will upgrade the horse tile instantly. Because it's more production and early on production is just key. There's a lot more land. Bloody hell. Hmm. Oh, it's safe. Actually, I'm gonna scout a little bit though with this warrior. I mean, will probably still settle here, but this is very. Okay, I see now. Makes for a very interesting map then. Let's see. So this does actually lead nowhere. Um, this does. Hello there, Vatican City. Some free faith. Okay, so you can definitely... Yeah, so it doesn't really matter. For, I do want to get, like... Here is a really good city location, actually. But I'm going to need probably optics before I can even consider getting that one. 
Oh god, this is like really close as well. And I can finally get myself a Pantheon. So what can we get? Uh, we have quite a bit of silver. And we do can get religious idols plus culture and faith from silver and gold, by the way. We have a decent amount of silver. Yeah, I will pick this one up. Religious idols. Anything to get you more culture. Uh, more faith per turn is really good in the beginning. Next turn. Gonna finish our first settler now. And here we are. There is quite nothing here. Mm -hmm. You heal up. Scared a bit ahead, so we see if these guys are doing anything S that will upset me dearly. Mm, we need an archer. Really, I can't get more food right now. Jesus, 17 turns. And we have all the two food tiles, so. Mm. Almost there. Oh, there's a settler here. Um, please. Okay, you're staying indoors, which is fine. It's actually perfectly fine if they stick around there. Calendar two turns. I'm gonna need to build. Yeah, if I get a mine, I would at least get the happiness. There's the settler. There's an archer over there. And if I s keep this guy here, then the archers won't charge my uh, set soon anyway. Get me a mine. Oh, I mean, that's also a good time, but that's that's a bit too close for comfort, really. There you go. You go there. Heal up. New policy, of course. Republic. More production. I'm gonna get a granary now. Have to. Search. Calendar, perfect. Yeah, you get out of here. Um, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to take care of the camp up there. Porto. They're actually not doing anything with that guy. It's interesting. Granary, for sure. I'm gonna get sailing. I'm gonna have to get those cargo ships up and running soon. I could take their settler by declaring war. They don't have that big of an army, I think. Actually, fourth and soldiers. They have the weakest army. Oh, there would be Pocatello. I wonder if this actually connects here as well. Um, yeah, you go this way. There we go. There's their uh, work warrior sacred path culture from jungle tiles unit promotion let's get you scouting and heal you up yeah that settler is not does not have a clue on what to do right now es wäre in eurem sure why not let's make friends with germany for now can probably fit in another city around here or here. That ah, would be still difficult. Uh, yeah. No idea where Brazil is going with that settler. Really don't. Over there, good. You can up go and upgrade that thing. Start destroying that archer. Shishone, plus one faith from Tundra. Mm -hmm. Keep shooting. Finished our uh, granary, so we actually have some growth going. Four turns. Let's get another archer out there. And let's scout the area around. Uh, to the south of Rio, actually. We have many city locations going for us right now. Um, yeah, keep shooting. 
you can go in between them. Zanzibar desires cocoa. Well, we know that Germany has that. Okay, you kill it then. Should be easy enough. Okay, so we're still last, but we're getting closer to Pedro. I'm gonna want to get a settler and get it around here as well. We have a scout going. I'm gonna get a settler in a couple of turns as well for free, of course. Well, a couple of turns, that's more like 14. We do have some happiness, of course, we're going to get sugar. He who commands the sea. Sailing, very good. And I'm going to get myself a cargo ship. Nine turns, but that's fine. Um, still haven't gotten the... Uh, what's you call it? The masonry. Yeah, we haven't got masonry yet. Um, optics, yeah, let's get optics right in time with that settler and the great lighthouse will help and again the terra map uh, for those who don't know is a map in which we have a uh, big ocean between two continents and the other continent no one spawns on so there's just one free continent to go for anyone who gets there first basically okay there go oh yeah I think uh, those two are gonna hate each other. Oh, that's so bad from uh, our friend Brazil. Let's build a shrine. Two out of two, still in production focus, of course. People with the pointy sticks, we are fifth. It's okay. Um, we need more food though. Seriously, we couldn't do that right there. Come on, change me. Um, yeah. Still four turns with uh, five turns, but faster growth. That's fine. Good. You kill it. Mm. Okay, and they're going that way which is fine and we meet the zulu so we only have one unmet player left i would like to thank you all for watching make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and make sure to uh subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up with this let's play in the future i'll see you guys later